हेलो एंड गुड इवनिंग एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू योर ओन चैनल ऑल कंप्यूटर क्लासेस स्टूडेंट्स वी हैव कवर्ड चैप्टर वन ऑलरेडी ऑफ दिस क्लास सो इन दिस क्लास और इन दिस वीडियो वी विल बी कवरिंग सम ऑफ द बैग एक्सरसाइज ऑफ द चैप्टर वन राइट सो दिस वीडियो विल टीच यू फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स ट्रू एंड फॉल्स एप्लीकेशन बेस्ड क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन आंसर्स एंड सम जी के फॉर यू राइट सो लेट स्टार्ट इट द फर्स्ट एक्सरसाइज दैट वी आर गोइंग टू डू इज फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स राइट सो द फर्स्ट फिल अप इज अ डैश इज अ सेट ऑफ इंस्ट्रक्शन विच टेल्स द कंप्यूटर वॉट टू डू सो इट इज कॉल्ड प्रोग्राम राइट द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ अ कंप्यूटर लैंग्वेज कैन बी क्लासीफाइड इन टू डैश कैटेगरी इन हाउ मेनी कैटेगरीज इट इज इन फोर कैटेगरीज राइट डैश लैंग्वेज कंजिस्ट ऑफ बाइनरी नंबर दैट इज जीरो एंड वन so it is machine language which is consist of zero and one right dash language uses simple english words and mathematical operators so it is a high level language which uses the english words and mathematical operators right the next one is in binary language zero means off and one means on right so you might have seen in some of the switches it is re Uh, written zero on the one side and one on the other side right so i hope you are clear with this if you find any doubt in this um, entire video you can refer the video of chapter 1 in which all the topics have been explained right so i'll put the link in the description box of this video right so it will be easy for you to go there next is true and false so some of the statements have been given you have to state whether whether it is true or false right so the first one is machine language is the only language which computer understands yes it is true right so machine language is zero and one that computer understands assembly language is regarded as the first generation language no it is not the first generation language next is each programming language has its own specific rules yes it is true machine language is language uses mnemonic codes false assembly language uses the mnemonic codes compiler converts high level language into machine level language line by line it is false why because this is the job of a interpreter which converts the code line by line and compiler converts it compiler converts the entire program all at once high level language program has to be converted into machine level language by translator program yes it is true right then programming is the process of writing specific instruction in a computer language yes it is true right so the next one is application based question how to solve this kind of question so the question is kunal's aunt was a computer programmer during the third generation of computer language so which language she used to use it was high level language sushant is trying his hand in java programming but he doesn't know which type of language it is so you help him help the sushant to find which generation he is using which like which language is he using he is using high level language because c c++ java all these are it is a high level language right next is some of the question answers so the first question is what do you mean by machine language so the answer is it is the only language that computer understands right that's how whether we are writing any program in assembly language or machine la or in high level language we need to convert it into the machine language or binary language because our machine understands zero and one right so machine language it is also called binary language which means zero and one where zero means off state and one means on state right machine language is regarded as a low level language why because it is very very closer to the hardware of a computer right so the second question is list any three features of fourth generation language so the features are fourth generation language is very very user friendly 
right for user it is easy to write programs in four generation language and it is also independent of operating system what does it mean it means the programs written in the four generation language can run on any operating system right the speed of execution is very high and designed to reduce the level of programming efforts to uh, take very less time in the overall development of the software right next is what is interpreter interpreter is in translator program so it is a translator program which translate what does it translate it translates the high level code line by line into machine language right so whatever program written in the high level language it will convert into machine language but how the procedure is line by line right and compiler is also trans translator program but it translate the entire program all at once this is the only difference between these two otherwise they uh, the purpose of interpreter and compiler is the same right the, their uh, purpose is to convert the high level codes into machine level language so that computer can understand right so the next slide is some gk for you you should know these kind of questions so the first one is first programmer so who was the first programmer lady ada levolace right syntax so syntax refers to the spelling and grammar of a programming language so syntax is the term that we use for grammar and spellings of a programming language like we have some rules for english language for some rules for hindi language likewise the rules for programming language is called syntax now software the term software was used first by john w turkey in 1970 1957 space war space war was the first interactive computer game so if the question is asked name the first interactive computer game so the answer will be space war next is beta release beta release refer to product or a technology product means software product which is still in development but is released only for testing and evaluation purpose right so why it is released before the the complete product is ready because if it is if its beta beta version is released in the market users will use it and find the problems when they will use the product or the technology they'll come across some of the problems and then these problems will be rectified or solved by the company or the programmers right so the beta version of the product and technologies are released in the market right so students this chapter is already covered in the one of the video i hope you find it easy and if you face any problem just go to the uh, description and find the link of the chapter and uh, work hard learn and practice more and more so see you tomorrow with a new video till then take care and goodbye god bless you all bye bye